So let's talk about what you can do while you're going through attacks, relapses with MS. So one major thing you can do is change your intake of your food, of your diet. So as you can see, I got a little bit of a gut going, side views, but I don't look all that bad. But to be fair, I cheated between the powerlifting and stuff before I got sick. I was already knew how to lose weight and gain weight. So right now I'm going through two months of, it's one relapse, but since it happened twice, it's two relapses. But if it happens in the same three months, it's usually counted as one. So I lost the ability to use my left side. It's been numb for almost two months now. And my right side went about two weeks ago, where I have this control of this arm, and I have control from the shoulder up, but all this is numb, this is numb. Uh, I still don't have full function of this hand because of the nerve damage in my neck. So this hand, like if I were to go to that separation and a lot of this isn't me. I can't fail from the waist down. So my toes are really numb, my legs are really numb. Um, but I wanna stop making these videos so I can show people what you should do and how you can change even though you might not be able to work out at the moment or you might not be able to do certain things. So the first thing and the easiest thing for you to honestly do is change what you're putting into your body. And it's crazy because the more research I did and talking to my new neurologist, dieting is such a small scale when it comes to your MS for people. But I take my diet seriously, well, when I am taking it seriously. So for the next couple months, maybe the year, as much as I can make these videos, I want to show you how to change your life while you're dieting. And one of the big things you can do, and it's super simple, but also really difficult because of the foods we eat, is take out white products. So potatoes, white bread, uh, pasta, things like that. You can do your own research, Google works for everyone, and start eating around those foods. So for breakfast, I will start eating, and I've already started eating, Vegetables. It's crazy because most people are like, oh, that's not a breakfast. Breakfast is just a word along with lunch and dinner. So start eating more veggies. Why? Because veggies are literally the easiest thing you can put in your body without panicking on what you can and can't do. Obviously, if you have sensitivity to certain things, you'll have to adjust. So if you get really gassy from broccoli and Brussels sprouts. But these will start helping you. So for me, for breakfast, pretty much all the time, I'll eat some broccoli, some asparagus, and I'll probably have like two to three eggs. Why? Because I get my proteins and I get my fats from that. Now, it's hard to say how well you're adjust because diets will make you hungry constantly. Because if you're e used to eating four or five thousand calories, or if you're a smaller person and you're used to eating two thousand calories or three thousand calories daily, and you cut that down, you're going to be hungry. And fighting the hunger is the hard part. So you're going to have to figure out how to get rid of snacks. Or I shouldn't say rid. I should say replace. Replace your snacks. Replace your snacks with better stuff. So it's like if you get hungry, save some broccoli. That's your snack. Have some broccoli. And it's just like, oh, well, that's not a good snack. At this point in your, health, in your health, it should not matter what is fun snacks or what is happy eating. Your happy eating should be you being healthy. And it's just like, I think a lot of people get that confused. So, right now, I'm about 216, 217. In about two to three weeks, I will be close to 200 pounds because my body loses fat really easily. But, I say this not knowing how I'll do not working out. I still can't work out because of the danger of me not failing my hands or my legs. Usually, I do. But I've been recommended that I back off a little bit until the steroids and everything else can take effect. I apologize. Phone just went super blurry for a second. Now, for me, what I'll stop doing is I have a, uh, four 10-pound dumbbells. Why do I have four? I don't know. I have a TRX, and I'll start doing at-home workouts. And I'll start with maybe five sets of 10 or five sets of five. Something I can do for my legs. And maybe some upper body stuff, shoulder stuff, back stuff. And I'll start there. Like a baby step. So when I start going back to the gym, 
I won't be so far behind. But on top of that, I'm training for a charity event I do every June, and it's about 150 to 160 miles, give or take, if you take the rest stops um, of cycling. So what I'll do is I'll sit on a spin bike, because right now I can't get on a road bike because of, obviously, the imbalances. But this is how I'll take baby steps to changing my overall health while I can't really do a lot of stuff. Will I get back into powerlifting? Of course. But between the doctors and my double relapse, I don't know when I'll get that back. But it's my job to keep my body healthy. So I gave you my side views, my back views, and yes, I do legs. So I'm in fairly good shape even though I haven't done anything in almost like two months. But this might not be, you might be a lot bigger or you might be a lot skinnier and that's fine. Everyone has to start somewhere. It's that starting point that you have to start understanding to get you moving. And if you can't get moving, you'll literally be stuck, you'll get depressed and you'll honestly just start eating away from the inside until you just can't take it anymore. And then you've lost. So I will help you understanding how to work on your diet, how to get through your daily life. So this means you're going to have to keep working. You're going to have to go to work. I go to work seven days a week. Are my jobs difficult? No. I tutor Monday through Friday, and I coach soccer on the weekend. Is it super hard to coach soccer on the weekends? Yes, but this is why I have an assistant coach, because I can still do a lot of mobility stuff, but some things are still difficult for me to do. So I'll have my assistant help me out with those. And as long as you're open with what you're doing, the parents you're speaking to, a lot of people actually are willing to want you to teach their kid because they want their kid to understand what, like, you see this guy or this girl? They are doing something with a disease or whatever, and they're still willing to teach you. You have to be willing to fight your tiredness, fight your sickness to get out into the world. So... This is me starting at 216. For breakfast today, I'm gonna to have some asparagus. Um, I don't have any eggs today because I forgot to buy them yesterday when I went to the store. But I'll have 10,000 milligrams IU of vitamin D. Uh, you can get them in bottles, it's pretty simple. Uh, vitamin D you can get from the sun, so don't think you're just popping pills. So, and that will be my breakfast. Pretty much vegetables will be my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. But I will have meats, but they recommend you stay away from fatty meats, such as so much beef, so much steak, so much, pretty much fatty stuff, lamb, you name it, fried stuff, chicken, I love fried chicken. Um, the same thing with the grilled chicken, they want you to take away, uh, stay away from that skin. So I will stay away from that for a while, why? Because your health should be more important than what your happy foods are, and it sucks, but at the same time, would you rather live? Or would you rather be happy and have a shittier, unhealthy life? Because you're going to have this for the rest of your life. So, everyone has to start somewhere. So, what I want you to do is I want you to record yourself. See where your, your problem areas are. Obviously, a lot of women always end up going hair. A lot of men end up going hair. We hold, men hold fat. Men hold fat hair really well. That's why you got the dad bods. And women hold fat hair really well. If you can work out and you can start doing stuff, I know some people are in wheelchairs or some people have a hard time mobility-wise. No, you have to work out everything to lose stuff. You can't just say, oh, I want to work on this area and just start doing arms a lot and then expect all this to tighten up and this to be all like, oh, this is going to come. This all needs to tighten up together and this all needs to tighten up together for you to lose that. So don't just try to nitpick. Understand that this all is a work in progress. So... Welcome to day one. Get out there. See what you need to work on. Look in your fridge. See what you need to take out. Use the internet. Use Google. Stop understanding what you're eating. And you'd be surprised. The last time I went on a major diet, not counting when I compete, because right now I'm 216, 217, I compete at 181. I literally lose 50, 60, 70 pounds every year to compete. Sometimes I get to compete. Sometimes I have a relapse, like now. So, look in your fridge, see what you shouldn't be eating, and start understanding how you can change that. I know people say, oh, eating healthy is so expensive. 
it's not really expensive. The problem is most people eat a bowl full of broccoli and they're like, I'm still hungry. So they want more food, so they eat a bunch of other stuff. In the long run, if you can map out what you're going to have and you can start teaching your body how to eat a little less but eat more of vegetables, you'll actually be fuller. It's crazy, weird, it's just how it is. So, if you have any questions, you know where the comment section is. Uh, my Instagram is linked to my page. So you can check out my Instagram. You can see all of my feats that I've done while having MS. I've squatted 500 pounds while having MS. I've benched 400 pounds while having MS. I've deadlifted 600 pounds while having MS. And yes, that's with all the damaged nerves. That's with all the symptoms. So I hope you to come on this journey. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. So don't forget, look in your fridge. Check what you have. See what your weight is. Check your physique. We're going to work on this daily. And you're going to see my change. And you're going to see your change. And it might not come... You might not get the amazing... Oh, I look like a... And we got whatever, a, a model. But at the same time, that's not what we're aiming for. We're aiming to be healthier. So you might lose 10 pounds to start. Or hell, you might be lucky and lose 20 pounds to start. Or you might be unlucky and lose a pound in three weeks or a month. This is how we adjust. As you eat a little less, but you start eating healthy, you'll eat, you'll eat a little bit more. So it's just like you might eat 10 pounds of broccoli, but 10 pounds of broccoli is going to be a lot less calories than 10 pounds of chicken. So all of a sudden now you have 5 pounds of broccoli, 5 pounds of chicken. It's better than you eating 5 pounds of Big Mac because it will have different calorie intake and you'll start losing weight. But everyone loses weight and gains weight differently. Everyone loses weight in spots differently than other people. So this is what we'll start understanding, and this is what I'll start teaching you. And if you want my credentials, I've showed you my Instagram, everything. I've literally done this for, since I've been diagnosed in uh, June, June 20th, when I lost my vision. Till now, I've literally gone from 255 to 185. I've gone from 185 back to 220. I've gone back and forth with these diets. I've tried almost everything to see what works, what doesn't. And you know what? The crazy thing is some of this stuff might not work for you. But that's why you have to start getting control of your own diet. So let's start doing this. And I will see you tomorrow with more stuff.